Tetrapad is a tactile gyro rack controller with eight outputs, four pressable encoders, and pads that respond to both the position and pressure of your touch. It can behave in a number of different ways, including a bank of faders, a voltage storage device, a finger drumming surface, a chord generator, an eight key keyboard, four independent LFOs, or an eight switch panel. The different modes mean that the outputs can also behave in a number of different ways so they're color-coded with LEDs to show what's going on. Pitch CV is shown with blue, gates and triggers with magenta, position in green, pressure in red, and other functions like LFOs and storage voltages are shown in cyan. Modes can be selected by pressing the white button and scrolling with any of the encoders, then either press any encoder or the white button to engage that mode. The first mode is fader mode. This gives you four pressure-sensitive faders, each generating CV based on the vertical position of your finger, as well as the pressure applied. Second is voltages mode. Now the pads are each split into top and bottom zones that can be assigned specific voltages to output from all eight outs when activated. Mode three is keyboard mode. This turns Tetrapad into an eight key keyboard with each key capable of sending four different notes along with position, pressure, trigger, and gate. Mode 4 is custom keyboard mode. This operates similarly to keyboard mode, only now you can choose specific notes for the eight keys of a scale for each of the four outputs. Mode 5 is drum mode, which gives you four positionally sensitive drum pads for expressive finger drumming. Mode 6, LFO mode, turns Tetrapad into four independent LFOs, each with selectable rate, wave shape, and pressure control. Mode 7 is Switches Mode. Tetrapad becomes a panel of eight switches, which can be either toggle or momentary switches. Mode 8 is Chord Mode. This lets you choose a four-note chord for each of the four pads, which also respond to position and pressure. Mode 9 is Custom Chord Mode. This functions similarly to Chord Mode, only here you can specify which notes you want for each of the pad's chords. Lastly, Mode 12 provides the Global Configuration menu. Here you can configure Tetrapad's pressure response settings to match your preferences. Tetrapad automatically saves all of its settings every minute and whenever you change modes, and this memory is retained after power cycling. As you can see, the Tetrapad is quite a chameleon. The different modes cover a lot of ground, so it's bound to be useful to your system in one way or another, or a few ways. Plus, it provides a fun, expressive, hands-on approach to controlling your patches. Next, we'll take a closer look at each mode individually. Thanks for watching.